Good breath. I'm going to thank you all for being here <clears throat> to remember and celebrate the life of my dad, Chris Kiruby. To those gathered here who I haven't met, I'm Fiona Kiruby, the youngest of his children. When I was a child, I was terribly self-conscious of our shared Kiruby prominent forehead and wide smile, and I would foolishly try and hide these traits. However, as I grew older, I have come to embrace our unique physical traits as to what inextricably connects us, and I am today ever more proud of my forehead and big smile. And who would have thought I'd marry an amazing dentist? <laughs> I grew up with my mom, and I learned that words of love and encouragement that my dad had trouble expressing came out in his successes and achievements. My dad taught me the meaning of hard work and independence and to always aim for the stars. He taught me that with great blessings come great responsibilities. As a young adult living in Dubai, I remember often accompanying my dad to his endless meetings, driving him around, and it was during these moments we would bond as father and daughter in our own way. I admired how he would have different discussions until late into the night. Even though I was so exhausted, I would be completely in awe of how he just kept going and going and going and gave everyone he met his time, and he was never short of leaving you with words of wisdom and challenged you to always do better. That's when I realized how much I admired him. I was amazed by him and his vision. I had ambitions to put together a book of advice but sadly kept putting, it, putting this project off as life got in the way. However, whenever I shared business ideas with my dad, I enjoyed how he would go through the idea and how he would with ease break the idea down. In business, my dad saw years ahead of what that business would look like and it started to shape how I viewed things. One of my biggest wishes, however, was that my dad would have met the new addition to the family my seven-month-old son, Mufasa, who too will carry the name Kirubi. I promise to tell him all about his guka when he grows up. Him and all the other grandchildren will continue to honor him and carry on his legacy into the future. I'm grateful for the blessings that my dad, that my dad was and that, he, that, that, that my dad was, and that he is no longer in pain and is now at rest. We all are given one life to live, and I'm thankful that my dad has showed us all what living a full life looks like. Rest in peace, Papa K. Thank you.